in a biased tie experiment biased tie experiment the random variable the random variable x of the outcome has the has the cumulative distribution function cumulative distribution function capital f of x as shown below as shown below one two three four five six this is x this is capital f of x here point one here point three here point five Point seven, point nine one, point nine, one point zero. Now one at one it is two point one. Then two, the two point three. Then three up to point five. Then four. At four, it is up to point seven. Then five at up to point nine. Then six at six, it reaches one. Then continues like this. He has given the variance of x is dash. Variance of x is option A. One point five option B, two point two five option C, three point five option D, four point two five. Now we will see x f of x small f of x. X one means probability point one. Two means probability. See two to one difference is here point two. If you add point one with point two, then you will get point three. That is the cumulative actually point three. Then three, it is point two. Point three plus point two point five. That's why cumulative is point five. So individually is that uh, for three it is three to point two. So step two, whatever increment is there, that is the probability. Four also point two. Five also point two. Six it is point one. These are the probabilities. Small f of x. Capital f of x means uh, that is uh, cumulative. Cumulative means point one plus point two, point three, point three plus point two, point seven, uh, point five, point five plus point two, point seven, point seven plus point two, point nine, point nine plus point one, one like that. So now what is the mean? Mean equal to one into point one plus two into point two plus three into point two plus four into point two. Plus five into point two plus six into point one. That is the mean. So mean for now we know mean equal to mean for now sigma of x i into f of x i. So that equal to one into point one. Plus two into point two, plus three into point two, plus four into point two, plus five into point two, plus six into point one. So mean is three point five. Next variance. Variance we know formula sigma of x i minus mu whole square into f of x i. That equal to one minus. 
3.5 square into 0.1 plus 2 minus 3.5 square into 0.2 plus 3 minus 3.5 square into 0.2 plus 4 minus 3.5 square into 0.2 plus 5 minus 3.5 square into 0.2 plus 6 minus 3.5 square into 0.1 that equal to first one 2.25 square into 0.1 plus next 1.5 square into 0.2 plus 0.5 square into 0.2 plus 0.5 square into 0.2 plus 1.5 square into 0.2 plus 2.5 square into 0.1 that is 2 point two on first one 2.25 square into 0.1 plus 1.5 square into 0.1, 0 0.2, then 0.5 square into 0.2, plus 0.5 square into 0.2, plus 1.5 square into 0.2, 0.5 square into 0.2, okay, then 2.5 square, 5 minus 1.5. Uh, 5 minus 3.5 is 1.5 then 2.5 square into 0.1 equal to 2.5 square into 0.1 plus 0.5 square into 0.1 answer we are reading 2.13 2.13 but nearest answer is here 2.25 nearest answer is 2.25 we'll check this one very I mean mean once 1 into 0.1 plus 2 into 0.2 plus 3 into 0.2 plus 4 into 0.2 plus 5 into 0.2 plus 6 into 0.1 3.5 correct only, this also correct only. So, nearest answer will have 2.25.